Originating from simple radios and little teddy bears, side easter eggs have been present in Call of Duty Zombies mode ever since the introduction of Noct der Untoten. Although not very big in the beginning, side easter eggs eventually grew to be a staple part of the mode that offers some help to players who actually know how to complete them and is one of the reasons why I love Call of Duty Zombies so much. Side easter eggs are often overshadowed by the main quest or main easter egg of the map, mostly for good reason I would say. Most of these side easter eggs are generally useless and only provide story bits or like interesting interactions, but some have some genuine advantage. Today I'm going to be breaking down the best side easter eggs and zombies that you should do every chance that you get while playing. Starting this off, every OG zombies player will know this one. Inside of Buried on Black Ops 2, there is a side easter egg that will activate a witch to play a piano inside the witch's house after completing certain steps to initiate this process you must first acquire the ballistic knife from the mystery box once you get that stand behind the chalk line located inside the saloon and look at the dartboard you then have to try and hit the bullseye of the target with your ballistic knife shot it isn't terribly hard but if you are struggling i would recommend that you aim a little higher than the bullseye to get that precise shot. Once you do hit it, you will know because the piano behind you will start to play by itself. You have to kind of hurry here, so if you have stamina, that would be preferred, but you don't need it to complete this. Once you hear that piano, you have to make your way through the witch's house, dealing with all of the witches so that entrance opens up so that you can wrap back around, and then head through that entrance that would lead back to the regular main part of Buried. On the way, you will notice a witch playing the piano, which is a really awesome easter egg in itself, but what makes it even better is that for a measly 10 points you can reward the witch and it will grant you a perk for 10 points so by going through the witch's house with this easter egg activated you are guaranteed a free perk and a lit song played by the witch that is if you can prevent the witches from stealing your points and the most recent treyarch game well the the better Treyarch game. There is a common side easter egg that is very easy to complete and that you've probably heard of already. On the release map D Machine, you need to complete the process to turn on power and rebuild the pack a bunch, yada yada yada. That stuff is super easy. However, upon returning from the dark ether, getting your pack a punch part, there will be five glowing balls around the power room that you can shoot. One is located near the power near the stairs and is hidden behind these like computer consoles. Another is located under the power room in the exposed area. You'll kind of need to be prone to see it decently well another one is located high up near the back of the room as shown here the fourth one is located in a more hidden area if you get on top of these boxes near the back stairs and look through all of the piping you will notice another one of those blue orbs and you can shoot it the last one is located behind a window barrier under the pack-a-punch machine simply kind of shoot in that top left corner because it's kind of hard to see and you should be set it will initiate a teleport to where you will be brought to a absolute Absolutely raging party with all these zombies but once the zombies are done dancing and all that and having a good time it will teleport you back and the box located on the ground can contain crazy loot including but not limited to a chance to get the wonder weapon and this crate will always have a free can of juggernaut so you can save your points for that tier 3 pap <laughs> Yeah. Infinite Warfare surprisingly makes an appearance on this list with its dynamic approach to a side easter egg known as Ghosts and Skulls. Now, honestly, this thing is so complicated that it could be classified as its own main quest, but the reward that you get is absolutely insane. This easter egg appears in every single Infinite Warfare zombies map from Zombies in Spaceland to Beasts from Beyond, and they each have unique steps to activate, but once you collect all of those tokens required to play the game, or just use that fortune card called Skull Hacker. You can jump into the game where you are a person inside the machine and you can use the Entangler Wonder Weapon to destroy skulls using, well, ghosts. It is an extremely interesting take on a retro arcade machine and honestly, it is insane how much creativity was added into Infinite Warfare. Once you beat this, you will be granted essentially a director's cut with every perk on the map permanently and every wonder weapon from the box will be immediately pack a punch to level one now is this ideal for an average playthrough of the zombies mode absolutely not because this thing is no joke but if you are willing to take the challenge head on 
on, then you will be rewarded extremely well. Now, I kind of wanted to throw a fun one into this video because there are just so many, but I found this one especially super cool. Back in the days of Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, and Black Ops 3, there was a popular theory that you could do something to get a space dog to spawn in and start walking around on Black Ops 1's last zombies map, Moon. There were multiple people that endorsed this, however, MC Sports Hawk or Matt was extremely dedicated to this theory compared to everyone else and even took the idea jokingly to Jason Blundell himself, which then he himself confirmed in person that Space Dog would be added in Matt's name. And Jason Blundell, the madman he was, held up his promise. Inside of the Zombies Chronicles version of Moon and Black Ops 3, there is an Easter egg to get a dog walking around the map. To start, you need to get the wave gun out of the box and shoot three squeaky toys located all over the map. One by a park truck in Area 51, one by a rock near the back entrance of the biodome, and one is located inside of the biodome resting on on the wall kinda near the mystery box location. Once you have shot all three with the wave gun, go to these dog bowls in the lab section of the map, ensure that all three toys are present and use the hacker device and hack the dog bowls. This will turn into a soul box where you will need to collect a decent amount of zombies until you hear a sound similar to a dog's howl. Once you hear that sound quickly, and I mean book it, Run out of the door leading to Mule Kick and look towards the general spawn area. There you will see a dog prancing around on the moon looking happy as can be. Just look at him, he looks like he's having a good time. Although it has no impact on your game whatsoever, I think this was a good homage to a Zombies player that had been playing for years up to that point. <laughs> we miss you Matt, come back. I absolutely had to throw this one in just to pay respects to the homie. As many of you know, George Romero wasn't just the tall old guy that gets really mad at you if you like look at him the wrong way, but he's also a genuine film director and was responsible for the first zombies movie ever, which means Call of Duty zombies couldn't have happened without this man. In Black Ops 4 on the map Togger Toten, which is a remaster of Call of the Dead, which he featured on, there is a small homage to him inside of the lighthouse above the bunker where the crew were trapped and call the dead on a table there are resting a pair of glasses interacting with these will give you a free 500 points as well as a quote by the victus crew honoring the great man he was these glasses belonged to an icon we walk in his footsteps may he rest in peace he did such amazing things for this community and that cannot be ever forgotten in every victus map inside of black ops 2 there was a little easter egg where you could achieve a ray gun wabi however there is a catch to do this easter egg inside of black ops 2 there is a ranking system and if you aren't ranked one of the bone ranks inside of the game then you cannot complete this easter egg so that means if you are one of the higher ranks you cannot achieve it since it kind of seemed to be targeted towards the newer players however if you are this rank if you are the bone rank one of the lower ranks I'm not judging you by the way. You can go up to the Olympia and purchase it and you will have a slight chance to pick up a ray gun instead of the Olympia. Now obviously it's not going to happen the first time but if you're consistent with it and you keep trying and trying eventually you will get that ray gun. This is a really cool hidden feature that not really many people take advantage of when I play public lobbies. The most over hated map of Black Ops 3 Zetsubo no Shima actually has one of the best side easter eggs of all time. And it allows you to keep everything after you bleed out. So that means perks, weapons, even if they're pack or punch, you get to keep everything. And the best part about this is that you really don't have to put a lot into it to make it. To complete this Easter egg, you will need a seed, some blue water found by the entrance to the spider cave, and the KT4. After you plant a seed, you need to water it and shoot it with the KT4, similar to what you would do when you're trying to get the bullet for the Easter egg. Anyways, after you plant a seed, water it, and shoot it with the KT4 for three rounds, you will have a chance of it spawning an imprint plant. The three options you can get from all this planting is a missile, which of course you need for the easter egg, an item like a monkey bomb, or you will get that plant. So with all this possibility, I think just so that you have a way better chance of completing it, you should have multiple waters and seas going at one time. Once it has grown, all there is to do left is to imprint your current loadout into it and you are set. So this means if you die, if you bleed out, 
out, you will just spawn in and you will be just fine. Trust me, it has saved me way more than once trying to do the Easter egg or high rounds on this map. And honestly, this is arguably one of the best side Easter eggs ever as it has been used countless times and high round runs, not just for me, but for everybody else. And finally, there is a really exciting feature in Black Ops 4 Zombies on the map Alpha Omega. If you actually take a moment and stand up while you're playing this game and turn off whatever you are playing the map on, it'll turn it off so you don't have to play it anymore. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. It was really interesting to research about all of these cool Easter eggs. And honestly, I knew most of them. So if you have these in the back of your mind while you're just playing some of these maps, it is really useful to have it. Let me know if you want to see a part two to this series because it is very, very interesting to research all of this stuff and all of the different games that have these side Easter eggs. And uh, with that said, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.